Good afternoon, everybody. It is Monday, actually not quite afternoon yet, Monday morning. Um, had a very successful weekend, again, of yard sales here in our area. Um, hit a lot of places, filled up the kitchen table with stuff, um, and even picked up some more stuff on uh, Sunday uh, that it didn't get uh, a lot of videos of, but um, it's just spread out all over the house and everything is a big mess. And some of it's kind of a uh, you know, out of storage and things like that, so it's kind of dirty, needs a little cleaning up, but uh, I'm uh, trying to get a video posted. I'm gonna be going out of town for a couple of days, so I wanted to get a video posted before I left, and I'm trying to get everything organized so my husband can uh, take care of any shipping while I'm gone. Um, I'm only gonna be gone for a couple of days, but uh, I could probably ship things when I get home, but I've been really trying to get things shipped out as quickly as possible, so I wanna try to maintain on that uh, that uh, process that I'm working on, that I'm doing there. So I'm um, just gonna show you a few things that we bought and a few things that we went, that went out and um, we'll uh, get going. Okay, everybody, it's Saturday afternoon and we spent the morning out yard sailing and I'm gonna show you just a few of our finds. We filled up the kitchen table and then some. Oh, lots of electronics, found some Video game consoles, Wii's, a couple of, uh, those are Xbox 360's, and uh, check those out, see how they are working or not. Um, lots of boxes of miscellaneous uh, electronics and some old uh, car parts here. Old Polaroid camera that we'll be uh, taking apart and checking out. Just a lot of, like I said, miscellaneous things that were out there and everything this week, uh, this Saturday was really, really cheap, which is why we ended up with so much stuff. You know, most of the yard sales we went to were quarter, 50 cents, a dollar, um, got some nice, uh, vintage, uh, Tupperware measuring cups, uh, Teletubbies VHS is apparently very, uh, popular. Some of the newer, here's a newer, uh, plastic, uh, Hunchback uh, lunchbox, but it does have the thermos inside. Lots of clothes, lots of clothes again, but it is um, everything, all the clothing and everything was like a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar, and I got some really good brand name things. Here's a cute Eeyore. Uh, this might go for my to my mom so she can put it in her resale booth that she has. And uh, just lots and lots of stuff. So we'll be spending some time in the next day or two and um, getting the stuff cleaned up in price. This is really cool. Arnold Schwarzenegger movie poster, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, already in pretty nice frame. And this really cool Disney picture, art of Walt Disney. It's not green, it's just all nicely uh, plastic wrapped. So uh, we'll be checking on those, see what the value is on those. But we got some really great stuff today. So as we get this uh, priced, we'll uh, uh, let you know what it's going for. Okay, so one of the things we have going out this morning is this Liz Claiborne uh, tops, kind of a sweater, uh, sleeveless sweater tank top. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale a couple of weekends ago uh, from a gal um, who was selling all the clothes there for 50 cents and I picked up a lot of nice items from her uh, I picked up a thrasher pink thrasher uh, sweatshirt which already sold um, sold pretty quickly and a few other uh, name brand pieces of clothing that I have listed um, so this is the second piece to sell from that uh, find um, it is a Liz Claiborne great for 4th of July coming up or summertime um, this, I said, again, it was uh, 50 cents at that yard sale. I sold it for $17.99 plus sh or free shipping. So staying here in California, so shipping is going to be right around $3 uh, for me to ship it off to, uh, for it to stay in the state. So still a really good deal, real good profit on this top. The next item I have going out today is this a uh, retro flamingo vase from straight out of the 80s. I think I actually had a vase like this back then. I, at that time, you know, in the 80s as a teenager, 
my whole room was decorated in flamingos. So I'm pretty certain if I didn't have this exact vase, I had one very similar. Um, still really awesome looking. Uh, it did have a couple of little chips that I had noted in the pictures. There's one here on the inside, a little white chip there. Um, little chipping at the bottom here, but um, you know, that's when you have it sitting on a shelf, it's not very noticeable. So I set so these types of uh, vases, and this is a Van Door, you can see 1986. Um, I saw that these vases, you know, in, in new condition or, you know, uh, uh, you know, per, uh, good condition, great condition, no chips or anything, that they would go for you know, upwards of 40 to $50. So I priced this at $23.99. I've had it for a little while. I picked it up at my uh, favorite thrift store um, when they were having a 50% off everything day um, before we went on quarantine. So I want to say, I I know I did not pay more than $5 for this vase. I know I paid probably less than that, probably more like two or three bucks because I was thinking about keeping it and then I decided to list it. Anyway, I sold it today. Uh, I took a best offer. I had it listed for $23.99. I put, took a best, best offer of $20 plus shipping. So I will get this bundled up tightly and nicely and uh, get that sent out. All right, here's another uh, t-shirt from that 25 cent t-shirt yard sale. Um, it is Golden Girls, uh, Stay Golden. Uh, it's not a vintage shirt, but it certainly is from a vintage uh, TV show. Um, it's still pretty popular. I think it's on Netflix right now and a lot of those other shows. I know it's always... Um, a popular uh, show to watch and was one of my favorites growing up. Um, but this again, I picked it up for a quarter at a yard sale last weekend. I listed it for $9.99 and uh, free shipping and it just sold. So I'll be shipping this out today as well. Another pretty nice profit on a quarter t-shirt. I got this uh, nice Ralph Lauren uh, denim and supply uh, flannel shirt and last weekend or two weekends ago at a yard sale where I also picked up a lot of other clothes that have already sold. So she was selling her clothing for about 50 cents a piece. This was one of the pieces I picked up and it just sold tonight for $18.99 plus shipping. So this is heading out. Another nice profit on a 50 cent clothing buy. Another uh, sale just made tonight. These shoes have been uh, up for less than 24 hours. I picked them up at an estate sale yesterday for $3 for the pair. They're Michael Kors. They're kind of a moccasin style from what I could see. They are pretty much new. There's like absolutely no wear showing on these shoes. The soles are like super clean. Um, just a little bit of the uh, old price tag sticker that I couldn't get off of there. Um, but everything like these are great brand new shoes, basically. Uh, like I said, I picked them up yesterday at an estate sale for $3. I listed them right away and they sold, uh, this afternoon, uh, less than 24 hours later for $55.99 plus $10 shipping. So a really great score here. Michael Kors, uh, real popular and always sells really well. And these are just really nice pair of shoes, size eight, too small for me. All right, the dogs are here to say hello. Say hi, Ray. Hi, Ray. Here's Ray, sit down, girl. All right, thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Um, like I said, I'll be going out of town for a couple of days. So uh, hopefully some things will sell while I'm gone. And when I get home, I can do a good uh, shipping video for you. This here's my old man waiting for me to throw the ball. All right, you guys have a great week and we'll see you soon.